Indeed, 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 indeed. Rogue planets are planets that travel through You better tell me how there's the aliens under the ice right now. I'm going to be upset. The dark and vast space between Yo, I'm not going to lie. This light is too bright. No, 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 no. This one. There we go. I like red. This is nice. Yes, this is perfect. Drifting alone through eternal darkness, no light warms their surfaces, and they're exposed to the freezing cold of outer space. They know no seasons, no days, and no nights which could give away the passing of time. And yet, rogue planets might carry alien life to all corners of the galaxy. How would that work? And how does a planet become a rogue anyway? Nice! Kurt, wait, how do you say his name? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Sir. Wait, wait, I want to say your name, man. Chill. Buddy? Yo, go back, nigga. Kurt. Kurz. Kurz. Kurz guess. Kurz get. Huh? Kurz guess sagged. Sa sagged? Kurz. Kurz guess. Guess a sack. Huh? Kurz guess. Uh. Get. Curse guess a good. Curse guess get. Okay, I, I can't. I there can't, are several very different things that can't. get called rogue planets. For example, can't. sub brown dwarfs, gas giants that form from collapsing gas clouds, and are the boring little brothers of brown dwarfs. They're a sort of failed star, and we'll now stop talking about them. A far more interesting sort of rogue are terrestrial planets. Or is it Kur Kurz Jet? Kur Kurz Jet Jagged? Or is it Kur Kur Gez Gesaged? Kur I don't fucking know, bro. That got kicked out of their planetary system. Young star systems are dangerous places where protoplanets are battling for the available mass, guzzling up as much material Damn. as possible. In this fight for dominance, Ew, they collide with each other or get dangerously close to each other's orbits. If a very massive planet moves its orbit closer to the star, it can kick smaller planets out of the system. But just because a planet has survived the growing pains of formation doesn't mean it's safe. Planetary systems can be disrupted by flybys from stars or black holes at any point. Up to half of all planets born could end up as rogues. What are we talking about? I came for aliens. Like, what's up with you? Like, what? Where the alien part at? Did I get baited? The scientists don't agree on alone. Every day, the planet's surface quickly cools down and they'll freeze, freeze too. But weirdly enough, some of these frozen dark deserts could harbor life. To understand how, let's imagine a planet similar to Earth in the same order of magnitude in terms of mass and composition. If we put it into deep space, how could it still support life? As far as we understand the nature of life, there is one indispensable ingredient it needs, liquid water. Water is important because it mixes things, both matter and energy, which lets interesting chemistry happen, like life. Bro, so our planet needs enough energy where the fuck are the aliens? A lot of heat in the process. As long as this process is ongoing, our planet had an extremely dense moon or more along with them, a lot of these four more oceans since what we already fake focus. Oh wait, deep alien dark, cold, ocean. Okay, okay, okay. On Earth, deep down in our oceans in complete darkness, in volcanically active areas, there are hydrothermal vents called black smokers. They spew right. out a cloud of black material and hot water, providing a constant flow of minerals from Earth's mantle. Right. The bacteria feed on the minerals and produce organic materials, which attracts crustaceans, bivalves, snails, fish, octopus, and tube worms up to two meters long. Not okay, the aliens, buddy. Home to an incredibly diverse group of living you beings. chatting right now, bro? In the dark ocean of a rogue 
complex ecosystems we can only imagine I don't care the most likely I love it hey animal I don't oh feed I'm here I'm here I'm here muffle 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 as long as the energy from the core keeps on coming things stay pretty much the same the most likely forms of life are bacteria and other microorganisms. But given enough time, more complex alien animals could feed on the smaller beings and thrive. It's not impossible that intelligent life could emerge in such an environment. If it did, it would find Damn. in a pretty weird Damn. world. Constricted by an impassable wall of rock-hard ice at the top and bedrock at the bottom. Without any plants to store star energy, there would be no wood or law. Yo, Chad, I'm gonna get my ears pierced soon. I don't know how soon is soon, but soon. I'm gonna get my ears pierced, then I'm gonna get a tattoo, and I'm gonna dye my hair, and I'm gonna be a true thought. I'm gonna be a true thought. I'm gonna be a fucking whore. Just kidding. I don't leave my house. Cool. Even if there were, it's not like you'd discover fire at the bottom of an ocean. Without this energy, metals may never be forged into useful things. Our intelligent alien friends might never break through the ice. They might never Damn. realize that there is such a thing as outside and assume that their small world is all there is. Millions of generations might live and die in these dark oceans, ignorant of the unbelievably big universe above the ice. Until the core of their planet cools off and all life vanishes. As the oceans completely freeze, the remnants of cultures and ecosystems will be trapped in an icy grave forever. If you think about it, it might be better not to be aware of all that. But the concept is disturbing and exciting. What the fuck is exciting about dying, the man? might be teeming with life, trapped on planets that are basically impossible to leave. Worlds like this could frequently pass the solar system without us even knowing. Maybe one day, in the far future, humans will set foot on one of these frozen worlds and try to say hello. Uh, I don't care. Am I, am I done yet? I oh, am. Yeah. That was, that was, that was mid.